this is a very unique plant, the, the creosote bush. And uh, our deserts are full of them around here. And if you're on the desert when it rains, the, the odor from this is just wonderful as far as I'm concerned. And I really enjoy it. Uh, it's it's a little marginal. We're just a little, just about too high for it. But I planted one at home uh, 15 years ago, and it's still hanging in there, still doing okay. So uh, this one has been here. I don't know how many years now, but it's it's doing okay. We do have a little dieback that probably should be pruned out of it. It hasn't happened yet, but we'll get her. And uh, it's it's a beautiful little shrub, and it has some unique characteristics that it. it it has the ability to take, if there's caliche in the soil and it's like a rock or concrete and you can't get through it, uh, if the roots can get down below that, if they have heavy moisture, it will transfer water down below the caliche and then use it when it needs it. Uh, it's a pretty unique plant. And then most plants, the leaves or the stomatas on the leaves close up at 11 o'clock in the morning at the latest because too much transpiration. Uh, transpiration. So this one is just the opposite. It opens at 11 o'clock in the morning. It does everything that it shouldn't do, but it seems to get away with it. And you see it all over in the lower country around here. You get down 4,000 feet, and it's it's a lot of people cuss it down there because it, it grows everywhere. But anyway, uh, I think it's a neat plant. It blooms all summer. Uh, not the most attractive blossom, but it's nice and. Uh, We'll have those yellow blossoms on it all summer.